Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new series on Played Up. We're playing on the 1.1.0 branch, the Halloween update that just came out. I'm going to do a little plug for the game. Head on over to Steam. The game is on sale right now. At the time of recording this video, the game is on sale at quite a discount. The Halloween update is free. All the new dishes, all the new costumes. I'm a ghost. All the new maps. I'm playing a Halloween map right now. And yeah, this series is called How How You Doing? <laughs> I may change that at some point. Uh, that's the default for the... Uh, for the pie map so if you think of a different name that you want, want it to be called <clears throat> just let me know in the comments below but we're gonna rock pies today and I'm hoping that we get all the new dishes for you without further ado I have my little my this is my kind of my go-to setup with, with things I have dishes up top I have the tables laid out you can't really fit four tables in here because of the way the window is this is a five wide window so you have one here a space this one and they have a counter here just to have an extra space for something and then I realized that these aren't turned the same way, so we want to have all the luck we can get. So, I never played on this map before. This is called Forge 7. Uh, I do enjoy the layout, which is why I'm playing it, obviously. I, I've never played it. I don't know what type of cards we get, what type of drops we get. I have no idea, but I'm hoping it turns out to be good for you guys. So, I want to show off the new content. So, let's, uh, I'm a ghost. Boo-hoo. Let's get rock and roll here. We have a bunch of groups. I can probably call most of them in. One, oh, so I'm going to be... It's going to be three, you're going to call everybody. Only going to be three groups. So we'll have two doubles and we'll have a single. And the thing is, though, is if you have three tables, because of the way that things work now, you can call in all the groups. Because before it was customer counts. That's now been changed, obviously. So if you know how many groups you have, that's how many tables you're going to need. Now, since I'm not streaming this on Twitch, the, the Twitch inter integration where you can do trick or treat, that's um, it's turned off when you play by yourself because there's no way to activate it on Twitch. But if you do play this on Twitch, you could have your people, your friends, your chatters, if you will, um, doing exclamation point trick or exclamation point treat to give you special bonuses or special, well, tricks, if you will. Okay as the customers leave. But we're doing pretty good, day one in the books. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just, 62 coins, not bad at all for, for a first day. Now, let's see what we get. You, know, you always get your staples. I've been playing on a couple maps where the staples have been a bit wonky. They last, ooh, research desk day one. Now, do I want to start upgrading right away or do I want, I think we're early enough in the run that I think I can get away with waiting. Uh, give it at least one or two days, and then maybe, uh, then maybe I will. But uh, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll do it like that. Try to try to because I mean you could either buy the research desk right away. We have three groups again, so you might as well call them all in because you know you're not gonna have anybody. If you have, as I said in the previous day, is that's one thing that's good about the group thing now is because it will tell you how many tables you're going to need. Because if you have three groups and you have three tables, well, that's all you need. You only need three, right? Before, when it was customer count, you didn't know how many tables you would need. So it'd be a bit more difficult sometimes figuring out um, how many people you could call at one time, you know, as far as using the, the ring ring, the phone. The booking desk now there is a trick-or-treat card where the booking desk is automatic or random i guess you would say so people be calling be called in all the time and you wouldn't have any control over it that's really scary <laughs> you ask me let's see what we get I say if we lock out and get a research desk, I'll be I'll be happy. I mean, I think I may wait one more day. Okay, nothing, nothing yet. Okay, these are all still staple items. I should put that there for some reason. All right, now let's see what we got. This one, this one. Ooh, boom. Okay, now we're in business. Now we're in business. Now I can't block myself off anymore, but I can still put the phone here because I can still reach this table. Uh, I can even put the phone here. Like it doesn't really matter where the phone. Um, 
where the phone goes. So we're, we're, good, we're good to go with that. So we're going to buy the research desk, of course. So this is a good a good thing. Um, do I want to upgrade a sink? I don't think we need... We're going to still keep getting staple items. Uh, I think so. I don't really want to upgrade plates. Uh, countertop. We can't... Well, we can't upgrade anything. As far as we buy another sink to eventually have... No, because I'm hoping we get a mixer. So we're not going to need the sink. Yeah, I think we're just going to... We're going to do the same day. We have groups of four. Four groups. We can call in one. I'll call in two groups because I don't want to press. Because if one group is already on their way in, and then you call, it'll automatically force the, the, the next group to come in. And since I can do that, I'm going to call in the last group now because that was a single. These are all singles, so this is going to be a, a small day. Is that a double? No, it's a... Oh yeah, sorry, that's a double. That's a double group there. Okay. So we had... Um, Interesting, because that was, yeah, we had four groups, so there were three singles and a double, so we only had five people today. Not very good. We could have had up to eight, you know, if you're basing on, you know, two customers per group. So, I mean, this is a change that was implemented for for this release, about putting it back. Because if you guys remember, way back when, uh, it used to always be estimated groups. It was never estimated customers, and then they, they, uh, they changed that. Uh, let's do our research. They changed it to customers, which a lot of people like. Cause it's like, okay, well, how many loaves of bread do I need? How many? Ooh, blueprint desk already. We're going to have a blueprint desk on day three. Oh, we get another card today. I hope it's one of the Halloween cards. Give me pumpkin soup or pumpkin pie or something. Pumpkin pie would be great. Because pumpkin pie is a dirt. Let's see what we get. Anticipation. Ooh, okay. So, hmm. So far, the, the trick de dark deliberations would be fine because we have the same order. Um, and that would only be a problem is if you'd have, say, two types of pies or two types of sides or something. So it's basically the same thing as, uh, I'm not sure what the card is called, that where they can change their order. Uh, I don't recall off the top of my head what that one is. One of the customer cards, but well, they can change their order. So this only changes at night. So I think it's interesting to take that, but I think I want to do broccoli because I want to keep customer counts low, especially if we're going to have tons of sides. So yeah, I think we're going to, I think we're going to rock with that and then just try to, I don't know, see what happens, right? <laughs> we'll take broccoli. So it's not a new card. Broccoli is not a new one. Uh, broccoli is very easy. You know, it, it's well, pretty simple, mind you. So I think what we'll do is let's just, we're going to buy this. Look at that, baby. Blueprint desk. Sweet. I'm going to move our research over here because we don't need it to be over here. The bin, I still don't think we're going to be needing a bin. I know that's, you know, pushing my luck. Now, the thing is with the blueprint desk is you don't want to use the phone. That's the only negative with that is you don't want to use the phone. Uh, I do want to still keep this here. Um... Actually, maybe I'll just get rid of this altogether then. Oh, let's see what our drops are. I know this is going to be a pot stack. Because we have a pot stack. I mean, we theoretically, we should probably... Not theoretically, but we should, pro we should only really need one. Give me something good. All right, so... What are we going to upgrade now? Okay, we're still in the, st in the staple items, of course. Um, like We may be needing a jiggly bin later on. If we, depending on what type of sides we get, if we have to throw out waste, maybe a table would be good to get more money potentially, or get the one that where they share the simple typical where they share the item. That would be pretty good to a counter or a freezer. A freezer for broccoli would be good, but I think I want to upgrade a hob because we're going to need another cooking device anyway uh, at some point. So what I'm going to do is we have four groups again. I want to get the broccoli on first, and then. Um, I want to look down here at the, uh, down here, right? Just to keep an eye on things. The broccoli cooks very, very quickly. Like, look at it, it's done already. So it says the thing, you, you can't, you don't want to call when you're using the booking, or when you're having a blueprint desk, until you actually lock something in, because you lose your chance of getting items. So this will be, the next couple of days will be pretty kind of slow. Uh, because uh, I don't want to, I don't want to miss out on anything. So I'm looking for a mixer. A mixer would be great off the bat. Um, I don't think a conveyor belt, of course. You know, grabbers are always popular for me. So far, we've gotten, we've got nothing new. 
Nothing good, I should say. We'll get something. I don't know what you guys want. No broccoli still. Okay, fair enough. Ordering terminal. No thank you. Sometimes I'll just end up just researching, just to research, just to get something, <laughs> just to, uh, or excuse me, just to do a ring ring just to get it out of the way. We don't need a meat free refrigerator. Yeah, it's the thing, when you, when you can't ring ring, the day can really go, can really kind of get long in the tooth, as they say, but it's fine. There's no rush here. A mixer would be great right away to so start automating the pie crust, or at least semi-automating the pie crust. I'm gonna do my research here. I think a safety hob would be great here. I don't really want, uh, I don't really want a danger hob, but I'll, t uh, I don't I don't think I need a danger hob, that's the thing. No broccoli, still no broccoli. I'm on now. <clears throat> so far, we're, we're kind of striking out here with, with items. Another sink, I don't need, I need to start getting some better, better equipment here. I don't need another meat refrigerator, come on now. Give me something good. We're almost at the end of the day, I'm going to lock something in very soon, I think. Because we should, I think we have, oh, I'll lock in the prep station. Oh, no, lock it in. Now, oh, I missed out on one ring. So the reason why I'm going to do the prep station is because we're at the end of the day. I probably would have gotten, oh, we have one broccoli. Good. I probably would have gotten the the, uh, the prep station anyway. Now we have day four. Okay, so we have the danger hob, which I, I will probably, I'll probably pass on that one, to be honest with you. I don't think I'll buy that one. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of rock with that. All right, yeah. So it would be nice if we would have gotten like another. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We can um, see what we can get. I guess. Uh, I guess is what I'm getting at. We can see. Uh, uh, yeah. It'd be nice to get like a blueprint cabinet, but we're gonna take. I think so. Do so we? Do we either? We're gonna, I don't want to buy this. I don't need this. So either do we try to upgrade another hob to get a safety hob, or do we upgrade the prep station to a frozen prep? Which I don't think we need the frozen prep yet. Um, that's the thing. Like I don't know what would be more beneficial to us at the moment. Like I love my frozen preps, but uh, like a safety hob. I, I mean, I'll do the prep. Let's do the prep because let's just do the prep. We should start getting less staple items after the next two days. So that should also be helpful. We have four groups again, but again, I don't wanna, I, I wanna try to get a mixer. Like that's what we're waiting for here, a mixer or or even a conveyor belt. I can do my do my research while I'm here because the conveyors, coffee tables are nice too. Okay, we're finally starting to see a couple different things. But because you're not ring ringing, also bins, bins will be important later on because all the pumpkin related things all have waste to them. Uh, so you have, you know, pumpkin seeds, you have pumpkin chunks, you have pumpkin, the whole pumpkin. Depending on what dish you have or what size you have or starter you have, you're gonna have waste. So that adds a bit without having any sort of bin. But we're not there yet, of course. We get another card after two, after, after tomorrow. Combiners are good. Ah, don't, I don't think I want a combiner yet. We're finally starting to see new items down here, though, which is good. But a lot of it's RNG as well. Like, it's just random. What is that? Oh, the ghost statue. So the ghost statue is part of the Halloween pack. Uh, it's free. It's just a decoration. It's not supposed to be there, but I don't know when it'll be hot fixed out of there. Because you'll see after today, there'll be three items. There'll be uh, spider webs or cobwebs. There'll be a ghost statue, and there'll be a pumpkin. And those are all free... Um, Free decoration items they don't count towards anything so you can't like um, they, you don't you don't get anything it's just, just de it's just decorative I guess is what I should say uh, just decorative and candle box yeah I don't It'd be nice to have like a game mode where you could just like turn off getting certain items but then that would really kind of defeat the purpose of the game then all right we're gonna have what one more day you know I'm gonna grab the combiner now because we're literally at the end of the day, and I'm worried that we're gonna end up getting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna queue up one of these anyway, just in case someone wants it. Because why not? Yep, there we go, perfect. Okay, so we have the frozen prep. Remember, today is Deco Day, so we're not gonna be able to research anything for tomorrow. Uh, all right, so this is one of the new upgrades or new up part of the new update. So it tells you what bonuses you get when you choose what card you have. 
charming is increased patience. Patience increases slower when near a table. Customers will sit at tables before they're cleared. So that's a pretty good one as far as like dishes and being patient. Formal decreased mess. Bonus pace when delivering food. Tables create no mess. So formal is pretty powerful. Um, we shouldn't really have issues with mess. So I don't really know what the, I mean, I think charming increased patience. Uh, I think that's, I don't know. That's probably the better one, right? Because formal, we don't really have issues with mess. Because it, it's customer mess. It's not like messes from, from Hobbs. So I don't really have, to, yeah, I don't have issues with messes at the moment. So I think we're going to go charming. I don't know if I'm going to actually buy anything, mind you. Let's see. So this flooring here is one of the new floorings. And I think this is one of the new floorings as well. Let's see. Nah, I think that's a new flooring as well. Again, the floorings are always, you know, free. The floorings, the flooring and the wallpapering, wallpaper don't. They never cost anything. This I like this one. It's a little bright, but I do like it. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so here are the free. Okay, so you have the combiner. So we're definitely gonna buy the combiner. Uh, we can either buy it or save it, but I want to buy the frozen prep. Get that out of the way, and then the frozen prep. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know like how. <clears throat> excuse me, how necessary it is. So we'll put it here. So the cobwebs are free. You put them up against, I'll just show you the decorations because this is all new for most of you. You add the pumpkin, again, which is free as well. There's no cost to that. It's just decorative. And then we have the ghost statue, which is also uh, decorative like that. It's free. So let's decorate with this one in here. And we have basically three large rooms. And we have um, a little room at the bottom, which maybe eventually will be like the research room. Or if we get teleporters, can be a teleporter room or something like that. But let's see, we have, we can get the first, we have 40, 30, 30, and then, okay, we don't call them paintings. What's this one? A dartboard. So 30, 30, 30, fireplace is 100 for two. Yeah, so let's just get a bunch of these decorations because let, we can we can easily afford the first tier of this. I'm not sure where we should put all these, maybe here. Um, and then I want to get, a, I like the bookcase because it looks cool, but the dartboard is cost less and it's more functional. Maybe we'll just line all these up like this. Oh, well, not let me put that there. There we go. Oh, what the heck? That was weird. Okay. And then like, we could buy a bar. Like, we could, well, I don't want to, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to save an item here and then I'm going to buy the combiner. Now we're not going to be really needing the combiner yet. Uh, the way my setup is here, I'd rather just do this part manually anyway. But if we, as soon as we get a grabber, though, yeah, I'll be able to start automating a little bit of this stuff, <clears throat> which would be great. So let's see. We're, we're, we're on time for one more day, so let's buzz buzz through this day. Let's hope we can get a grabber or something. Well, you, okay, you, you'll get a, you won't get a grabber. You'll get a conveyor belt. I interchange those words a lot because, to me, they're all the same thing, despite knowing that they do different things. Uh, these customers are in here already. It's pretty quick for them. Oh, I totally wasn't paying attention to how many groups we had either today. I think we'll be fine. Oh, boom, conveyor. Now let's call a couple people. Boom, boom. Because as the, this is the thing, as the days go on, you get more and more money per ring, uh, which is great, <laughs> which is great, by the way, because it really will help. So we've made, what, an extra 12 or 18 coins there, which is excellent, by the way. These are all double groups, no problemo. Yeah, conveyor belt's great. The next thing we need is a mixer. If we can get a mixer, we're going to be rocking and rolling here pretty good. Pretty good. They want a little bit of broccolo. Boom. Now I'm going to take my time here now a little bit. Get these dishes cleared. I'm going to call in the next group. Should just be... Yeah, I'm going to get these tables cleared. Now again, should we have maybe bought the regular sink? Maybe. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get everybody in. I'm going to do the last ring. Boom. Now, I'm not sure if that ring is actually going to count towards a group coming in, because I think we have all the groups we are going to get for today. Yeah, we definitely we definitely do. No one, no one else is coming in. But what I want to do is I want to load up the prep station before the end of the day with pies. Because why not? Oh. But again, we have, we have plenty of time here. Plenty of time there. All right. I don't really clean dishes anymore. Well, no, I will, because I... I don't have, I would say I don't have to clean dishes, but I don't, I don't have enough dishes, so I will have to clean them. Clean them a little bit here. Let's do a little bit of that. Okay, so you get eight per pie now. Well, eight per pie, period. Let's just get, oh, let's get some of these loaded up. Yeah, the conveyor belt's going to be great. Let's just 
But we don't, I don't need to do this. Like, it's not a mandatory thing. But again, if you remember, those groups came right away last time. So we'll get, it'll start getting a little bit trickier here. Again, having a mixer. Now, again, if we get a heated mixer, a heated mixer is also a game changer. But would I, would I use a heated mixer for pies? I don't know. I mean, if I get one and I don't have the grabber set up, then yeah, it will. But otherwise, I don't know. Like, they're, they're quite slow. But they're very, but they're passive. Like you don't have to do, we don't have a mixer, so it's irrelevant at this point. But uh, hopefully we get one quite soon, which would be great. I do have to wash one dish here, no problem. Let's mix this, yeah, mixers. I mean, the uh, the workstation would also be helpful for this, for doing pies. Uh, I, don't I just don't have a workstation. I, I, I chose, ooh, double broccoli. Good thing we have broccoli here, because I would have been screwed <laughs> <laughs> would have not been paying attention. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's see what card we get for you guys. I'm anxious to, to see we get a good card here. <laughs> and... Ooh, oh no, so we're not getting good cards. So we're getting a lot of the trick cards. So, Grand Gesture, you can only have one table. That is a super terrible card. That provide. I mean, the Halloween cards will eventually go away. They're just for Halloween. Are they going to stick around for a week or two or three? I don't know how long, but they're not going to be there forever. And yeah, this is a terrible card. I really don't want to do veg pies either because this is more work. Um, but I'm still kind of doing things to order. But again, we have a prep station. If we get two prep stations, I don't know. What do you guys want to see? I know you guys probably want to see the one table thing, but then again, it's like, I don't know if I can do that. I mean, yeah, it'd be difficult. Reggie pies is also difficult because it adds carrots. You have to do more so do pies to order. You can't just bang up the same ones. You're going to need multiple combiners. If you want to try to automate, it's going to be even harder. So, you know, we're actually going to leave the episode here. I'll let you guys decide what you would take and then what you think I will take. Now, again, remember the trick-or-treat cards, or they're basically the trick cards. They're only around for a limited time. They're not around forever. So let me know in the comments below what you would take. And then I'll catch you guys in the next episode. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving me a subscribe. And if you like the video and you like the content, please give me a like as well as a comment. And I always respond to my commenters either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a personalized comment back. I love interacting with everybody. Whether they're positive comments or, or, crit or critiques or, or suggestions or tips, I'm welcome to all those type of things. So thank you guys once again for joining me. And I'll catch you next time with how you doing, which we got to fix that name. We gotta, maybe we'll keep it. Leave a comment below as well what name you think we should have for the restaurant. Catch you guys next time. Take care now.